what's up guys you're welcome back thanks a lot for the visit ah this said this was meant we are waiting you know just decided to to give some information to us on the amount we are going to take home you know a lot of people are shouting for this disbursement a lot of people are eager for this disbursement well i just want to bust our minds a bit you know in this uh, internet space our job is to do investigative journalism is to gather data synchronize data and uh, analyze it criticize it synthesize it then dispose it uh, sometimes prudently sometimes the way it is so now we're going to say the way it is now the way it is is we're going to bust your mind about what is at stake in this uh, UAAG grant what is at stake uh, we're not going to go into the little gritty because that's not what we need now <clears throat> the money total sum of the money of this grant is 20 trillion Nigerian budget is 30 something trillion that is the whole country this grant, the total sum is 20 trillion. Then coming down, this grant, the beneficiaries are more than 100 million Nigerians are to benefit from this. Each person gets a minimum of 5 million naira. That is it. Each person gets a mil a minimum of five million naira, excluding the escrows. The escrows meaning the body that disbursed this money, they get a lion share, as in they get some extra, a lot extra because they work for the money. Then we did the beneficiary, we that don't know much about it, we that did not work for it, we that sit at home to await for the money, get minimum of five million naira that aside that is the amount that is the, the what is at stake in this grant so you know when we are talking about this postment when we are talking about the money there's a lot at stake there's a lot at stake so just imagine this this money let's say that is almost nigerian budget fiscal budget in the hands of some individual you know then you know in the voice you note know, to be hearing about bondo head you'll be hearing about ceo you'll be hearing about uh, all those things now <clears throat> this money is disbursed to ngos the ngos disbursed to to beneficiaries so that's the, the two arm i have to stop here this matter you know money issue can be complicated this matter becomes complicated but i'm trying to to simplify it so in the simplistic term this money is given to ngo ngo is given to people then the bundle heads are like um you know the bundle now it's one thousand one thousand each you know the bundles are one thousand each so the once one thousand people want once you bring a bundle they bring a 1000 name now there's a hack to this there's a hack to this you know 1000 people in a bundle the names will not be repeated once the name is repeated is given for example if a bundle is made up of 1000 people and 900 names are repeated people that are going to get is 100 people because the the app removes repeated data now you know nigeria now the money is supposed to be for over 1 million uh, 100 million people but they want what they want to do now is to is to overflock the bundle as in this person will be in this bundle this person will be in this bundle this person will be in this bundle so at the end many people will be in different bundles making the money not to circulate to the general masses so that is now the thing now that is going on they are politicking and uh, they are trying to hack the system so that a lot of people will get plenty bundles because the more bundles you get the more money you get that is one 
side of the story. Then another side of the story again, things that are going on. Now, <clears throat> they are criticizing the bundle heads, criticizing the NGOs, um, the CEOs and the rest. Coming down to the NGO, the NGO gets the money. Now, the NGO gets the beneficiary. Now, to post your mind, the NGO tells the beneficiary, 3 million will be given to you. And out of that 3 million, you refer 2 million to us. You get it. So at the end of the day, the masses, general masses, get 1 million. The NGO gets three, 2 million. Excluding the extra 2 million they have withheld. I hope you are getting the gist. The NGO is giving the money. Then the NGO tells the beneficiary, I will put your name, I will give you the money. But you will refund 2 million to me when I give you 3 million. Because the money must be put in a valid account. So that is the, 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 the system. That is what is going on. So at the, at the tail end, those in the hand of affairs those in the end of affairs, the NGOs, the CEOs, the bundle heads, get enriched and the masses get poorer, poorer and poorer. So, we are clamoring for disbursement, but just don't be shocked that even when the disbursement is done, the masses get poorer. Those who hear giving the voice note, those who hear, those are the people that benefit in this whole battle. So, so guys, I, I don't mean to indict anybody in this uh, in this uh, video. I don't mean I'm, we are just doing expose. We are just doing our job. We are just doing investigative journalism. We are just trying to to open up and inform the masses. Those you those that you hear say they are we are fighting for the masses. Ah, masses. Yeah, this cry going up and down. They are marginalizing the masses is not the way it seems it is so guys thanks a lot for 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 crisscrossing our channel drop your comment in the description this matter is very complex it's not a matter you expose in a day it's not a matter you expose in a day subscribe to our channel guys bye for now see you on our next videos guys peace out guys one love